A quick guide to Opaiula, the easiest aquatic pet. What are Opaiula? They are dwarf shrimp endemic to Hawaii. They live in ankyline pools, which are brackish water pools connected to a network of underground tubes. The name Opaiula means red shrimp in Hawaiian. How do I set up an Opaiula tank? A half gallon or larger is best, although smaller tanks are possible. My smallest current tank is two gallons, the largest is 10 gallons. For substrate, I prefer a layer of aragonite sand sold for use with marine aquaria. This sand provides a source of calcium as well as an aesthetically pleasing substrate. The water is made with marine salt mix, mixed with distilled or RO water to half the salinity of seawater. The shrimp can adapt to lower or higher salinities, but they do really well at around 50% seawater and they don't breed very well if the salinity is too high or too low. Decor is optional, but they seem to like hiding places. I use piles of lava rock as it is similar to their natural habitat. It's helpful to add a few trumpet snails right away to help cycle the tank. They acclimate readily to brackish water, but it is best to acclimate the snails gradually by slowly adding brackish water to a holding container over the period of a day or two. Now comes the most difficult aspect of Opaiula care, the weight. Don't purchase your shrimp until the tank has had a chance to cycle along with the snails for about a month. Shrimp can be purchased from collectors in Hawaii, but as with most species, it is preferable to seek out captive bred specimens, which, fortunately, are fairly readily available. Algae growth is a good sign that your tank is ready for shrimp. The number of shrimp to start with depends on the size of your tank. In a half gallon tank, 12 to 20 shrimp are a good number. Once you get past a certain tank size, you'll need to start with a lot of shrimp, or you won't see much of them for a while. In a 10 gallon tank, I recommend starting with at least 75 to 100. These will leave plenty of room for reproduction. You can keep several hundred in a 10 gallon tank with no problem. What and how should I feed my Opaiula? Though it may sound strange, you should not feed the shrimp for a month or two after you introduce them to the tank. They will feed on algae and bacteria during this time. Once the shrimp have been in the tank for a month or two, you may begin feeding them. Offer a very small amount of fish food every week or two. These shrimp need very little food. A single 3 mm cichlid pellet weekly is sufficient for a 10 gallon aquarium housing hundreds of shrimp. You may safely skip feeding for a month or even longer without problems. The shrimp will forage for algae and bacterial film to eat. It is much better to underfeed than to overfeed. How often do I need to do water changes? Amazingly, unlike most aquatic organisms, Opaiula do not require partial water changes if maintained properly. To compensate for evaporation, simply top off the tank with distilled or RO water as needed. How can I breed Opaiula? If you have healthy male and female Opaiula that are not overfed, especially if they are provided with hiding places, they are likely to breed. The female will carry the eggs for several weeks and then release larvae. The larvae float for about two weeks, at which point they metamorphose into tiny pale versions of their parents. Fortunately, since Opaiula don't require a lot of space, and don't seem to overpopulate their environment, you don't have to worry about where to put all the extra shrimp. What other species can I keep with Opaiula? As I mentioned, I keep Malaysian trumpet snails with them. I also rotate an olive narrator too between Opaiula tanks. Nerites are great algae eaters, so the rotation ensures they get enough to eat. Some people keep other species with their shrimp, such as small hermit crabs, but generally, such setups require much more maintenance. Where can I find more information on Opaiula? Check out the Super Shrimp section of PetShrimp.com. I don't receive any compensation for mentioning or recommending the site. I had kept and bred these shrimp for years before finding PetShrimp.com, but when I found it, I learned a lot. Once I had applied the simple care methods found at this site, my shrimp began to breed more consistently and more prolifically. I highly recommend it. Check out the Articles section, the Forum, and the store.